we have seen some of the ways in which urbanization has affected many people, even me personally. <sighs> we can't go on like this. So what do we do? There must be something we can do to improve the state of our cities. Something concrete. Something sustainable. I remember reading about satellite cities and smart cities. I seem to remember that they were proposed as a solution to solve the problem of increasing urbanization. Wait, let me explain. A satellite city is basically a mini city that is planned in the near vicinity of a larger city or metropolitan area. It has the same characteristics as a city. It has its own center and is independent of the large metropolitan cities. These satellite cities are usually located around the main city. The whole point of such cities is to accommodate the growing population in metropolises. Take Delhi for instance. Delhi is the capital of our country and a huge financial and industrial hub. Due to this, a number of job opportunities have cropped up in the city, leading to an influx of people. This led to rapid urbanization. The overcrowding became a huge problem because there was immense stress on available resources in the city. So, the places around Delhi were slowly converted into smaller versions of the city and gradually people started moving out of Delhi and into these smaller cities, the satellite cities. One of the first satellite cities around Delhi was Gurugram. By developing satellite cities, not only was the problem of overcrowding addressed to some extent, but also the stress on resources in Delhi reduced. Having multiple satellite cities still doesn't solve the problem I face daily in the city I live in. All the issues can be solved by adopting a more sustainable way of living. And one way to achieve this would be by developing smart cities. Smart cities are cities that use modern technology in order to improve the quality of life of the citizens while minimizing the consumption of natural resources and reducing costs. So, what would this mean for us? Okay, let me give you a glimpse of what a day in a smart city would look like. It's just another morning. Your alarm goes off. You wake up and turn it off, causing the geezer to automatically switch on. Then you get dressed in front of a smart mirror, which gives you weather updates so you can dress accordingly. You go to the kitchen where you open your refrigerator to pick up whatever you need to cook for breakfast. The refrigerator keeps track of what items you have in stock and if there is any shortage of a particular item, your fridge automatically places an order for the same with your nearest grocery store. Now you're done with your breakfast and step out of the house and all your appliances automatically turn off. On your way out, the GPS in your car warns you of possible traffic congestion and maps the fastest possible route to your destination. These interconnected devices make up what is known as the Internet of Things. So cool, right? Just imagine what this would look like on a larger scale if this was implemented across your city. Say for instance, if sensors are installed in waste bins on the sides of streets, they can notify a central collection point of when the garbage needs to be picked up by a van. This can save time, 
fuel and effort. Traffic can be regulated better with multiple information streams coming in in real time from various sensors and cameras installed along major choke points. This would result in a reduction in congestion resulting in saved fuel and time for commuters. The possibilities of what can be done with smart cities are endless. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.